Hello everyone. Today is um is it Wednesday? It's, I think it's Wednesday, June seventh, two thousand twenty three at eight forty three AM in the morning. Um so the flashlight I think it's getting old real fast. It's one of the cheap flashlights. So, um, trying to adjust it. So, um, it don't feel like acting right to this morning. So, I just put it away. So, um, I lost quite a bit of TikTok followers. I mean, even a couple of people got hateful and blocked me on TikTok. Um, for me, posting up that witchcraft video exposing, you know, them brainwashing your kids. So they even had this person <clears throat> that falsely glorifies herself, <clears throat> falsely calls herself God's Girl 777. And, um, and she got hateful and unfollowed me. And then she made it like as if she was making posts about, you know, people um falling for deception but i never she was one of my somewhat newer followers and um i always feel leery about following people that have 777 in their username anyway because 777 that you're new you a new ager so um this lady for for her to get hateful and uh, or this girl for her to get hateful and unfollow me for exposing something like that, she must be a fake Christian closet witch. Or she must be one of those people who think that she can be a Christian and a witch at the same time. So, um, you know, well, the hell with her. You know, I found out and I blocked her. But I had already reached a thousand followers on TikTok. And I already I achieved getting all the way up to one thousand four people. And so now ever since I reached a thousand people, um, it took me just about a whole entire six months um to organically and naturally reach a thousand TikTok followers within six months. And um and now that I'm at a thousand, you know, I'm sitting here losing TikTok followers left and right. But if it weren't for this targeting or for people hating my guts, I probably would have um reached a thousand followers a long time ago, you know. But it took me a few years to reach a thousand YouTube subscribers. You know, it took years, not months, but years. And if it weren't for all the so called TI community support that I lost, I could have reached a thousand subscribers a long time ago. So, um, and then my own abusive, narcissistic, gang-stalking twin sister, you know, had me to end up having more enemies, you know, behind her lies. So... But anyway, um,
So, I mean, but it's like, um, excuse me. So, um, so now I'm at back to having it at exactly a thousand TikTok followers. And now I'm losing followers. So it's like once you get a thousand followers, you're eligible to go live. Like do live streams on TikTok. But um it seems like I might have to wait till I get at least one thousand twenty or something in order to get to go live stream because you know, it looks like last night I got back down to nine hundred ninety nine. TikTok followers, and then I woke up this morning with, um, you know, I woke up this morning with the, um, with that perfect thousand again. So, I mean, there was a point in time where I was, a couple of months ago, I was gaining TikTok followers like crazy, but my video views were not increasing. The views, comments, likes, and everything, they were not increasing. I would still have, um, I would still have, um, you know, being lucky if I have, you know, 10 views on a video. So, um. So then, um, so, it's like, now that I'm on, on, me being on YouTube, it's like, once every, once all the perps find out I got monetized, they feel, they can make money off of harassing me, but they feel like, oh, hell no, Candy ain't going to make a penny off of me. Well, I'm glad y'all are gone. Some of y'all still lingering around, you know. Some of them still stalk my videos, but my ever since I got here, my gang stalking perp walk videos, I, I get less than um 30 views. And it's like as if people, you know, miss the so-called entertainment. They miss the so-called entertainment of um, me feuding with perps. When I was homeless on the streets, I used to get way more views on my gang stalking perp walk videos, you know. And so it's like, because April was a really bad month. Once I got monetized, I lost a lot of subscribers. And then fake TI perps and regular perps wanted to harass a few with me worse. And um, and then they ended up wrongfully suspending me for a week. Um, because they went to get old videos from last year to falsely report and have me wrongfully on suspension and it's like why the hell you didn't do that last year you sit there and wait months later because you wanted to attack my finances so it, it took a long time it seems like my subscriber count is not growing that much and my views are getting lower you know and I'll say it again. Um, other professed targeted individuals that they show footage of themselves being gang stalked and talk about how frustrated they are. Um, they still get a lot of support and thumbs up. But y'all fake asses like to grade my videos. Like if my video is what you think is something positive, you'll give me a fake thumbs up. 
But oh, if you perceive that it's me being full of drama and negativity, you'll give me a thumbs down. And you've been stalking me and doing this to me for years. You know, um, just like the, the video of me being homeless on the streets with the picture pose of, you know, a, a sad looking face or a tired looking face to the other picture of me being up in here and smiling. Oh, that video got over 30 thumbs up. But for me to expose the gang stalking and trafficking and everything, that post, oh, I, I'd be unlucky if I get two thumbs up. Because, you know, for me to expose the harassment and abuse, y'all think I'm being negative. But other professed targeted individuals, if they were to um, post, make a post talking about Nerve Gorilla or Chief Handler or something, you give them lots of fake support and thumbs up. But if it was me talking about those people, I would get thumbs down because y'all say, oh, Candy's being negative. Oh, so she's feeling negativity. Well, why you been watching me for years then? But they want to basically try to make attempts to control your channel or control your videos. <clears throat> you know, I've been me and been myself for the, you know, for the past couple of years. So, um, they have so-called targeted individuals who will have 275 subscribers, but they might get 30 videos, I mean, 30, 30 likes on a post or 50 likes on a post. But, you know, no way in hell should I have like 1,260-something subscribers and the majority of the videos, I don't even get three thumbs up. <clears throat> but yeah, as I said, I've been... I guess the perps enjoyed seeing me miserable and suffering on the streets. And, you know, now that I'm in a place, um, they feel like, you know, they're all mad at me that I finally got a place, but they feel like, you know, the entertainment, you know, they don't feel entertained anymore, you know, um, But as I said, I'm I'm glad for less perps to be stalking me. But um but you know, it seemed like it's like I don't have that much support, you know, but I'm thankful and glad to have um a couple of new a couple of more new supporters, you know. So, I'm glad to have a couple of more new supporters. I mean, who understand me, you know, what I'm going through and stuff. So, I checked my bank account yesterday. I have exactly $13 and no cents in my arm. Excuse me. Thirteen dollars and zero cents in my bank account, and it's only the seventh of the month. So, um, I was so sleepy and tired last night that I thought that I was gonna be able to fall asleep. I mean, I went to bed at I think ten thirty or ten forty five. And then um, I went to bed at 10.30 or 10.45. And I thought I was going to fall asleep. I was tricked into thinking I was going to fall asleep. And then after some time, I end up being like wide awake. And then they started vibrating me. 
and I experienced like kind of borderline bad vertigo. But um, this morning, I was able to wake up like normal. I mean, I think I laid there with insomnia last night for a long time. It felt like as if I fell asleep after three or four o'clock in the morning. And but I woke up this morning. Um, I don't recall. This morning was the first morning in a couple of weeks that um, I don't recall feeling that pain that I had been feeling. So I guess eating the fruits and vegetables must be helping. <clears throat> Last night, I just had the peanut butter sandwich that I was going to eat earlier. The peanut butter sandwich. Um, I had the peanut butter sandwich. Just one sandwich. You know, the peanut butter sandwich. And an orange. Like one orange and one peanut butter sandwich for dinner. And... um. I was amazed that having a peanut butter sandwich and an orange for dinner um, and then you know I woke up because I had that Ezekiel 4 and 9 bread and the bulk peanut butter it was peanut butter and honey it's so such a good you know it tastes so good the doggone sandwich is really good but the Ezekiel 4 and 9 bread it seemed like you can only have one sandwich is you know it's good with fiber and stuff so that's what i mean if it was junk food the regular white bread that you get from family dollar or dollar tree the bread is not even a, under a dollar anymore so um i don't like that loaf of bread so i i get i would get like the hamburger buns or whatever but but junk food peanut butter sandwiches, you know, with the regular white bread. I would, I used to eat like three sandwiches or eat two or three sandwiches. And I would have to hear narcissistic lectures about, oh, you're eating three sandwiches or whatever. But if I had um, the one sandwich with the Ezekiel 4 and 9 bread and the bulk peanut butter and one orange... Um, you know, I ended up, you know, I thought I was going to sleep very well, but I woke up this morning. I don't recall or remember feeling that pain in my back right side, in the right side of my back, in the lower right side of my back. I don't think I felt that pain this morning. At least I don't remember. <clears throat> so, um, but me, I'm wondering if I was still held over and full from the um, tacos yesterday. That was a lot of meat and a lot of grease. <laughs> <clears throat> but, you know, as I said, anybody else, their um, consomme or whatever, uh, you know, that bowl would have been filled to the top. not feel halfway. So that's how they do us targets. You know, I can go look at the video and see. Oh, in my shorts videos on YouTube, my shorts videos on YouTube, um, the shorts videos, they, um, The YouTube Shorts videos, I um, I'd be lucky if I, I don't. I get less than fifteen views on the YouTube Shorts videos, but it's like YouTube and TikTok are the same. If I expose my targeting, they make sure that my videos don't get pushed out in the algorithm. But um, if I talk about narcissistic abuse, sometimes they get pushed out. But um, they make sure my videos are suppressed. 
and the fake Darnell Williams perp came to harass me yesterday twice. And I showed y'all what he tried to do. You know, um, but it seems like y'all sit there and praise a predator. Y'all applaud and pray and praise a predator. You know, <clears throat> a predator that's a predator that's harassing me. Y'all would rather give them fifteen thumbs up for making harassing comments. And y'all know who he is, but y'all sit there and thumbs me down as being negative for exposing everything he does. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I only have 13, I only have $13. I mean, the online perps, they are obsessed with my food and finances. And they reverse it on me and lie and said Candy is obsessed with just money and food. No, I was just documenting my daily struggles and my survival when I was homeless on the streets. If I let y'all know that all I have is four dollars and fifty four cents, <clears throat> then I'm just letting y'all know what I have because I'm sitting here feeling like I'm struck financially struggling and need help. Or if I do a daily diary and letting y'all know, well, you know, I just had um, some pancakes, eggs, and sausage for breakfast for six ninety nine at Denny's or something. You know, y'all try to be like, oh, there she go. All she talk about is food and money. I was fucking homeless and <clears throat> homeless and struggling to survive. Well, y'all don't have to worry about struggling to survive. Now I have a roof over my head and I'm still struggling to survive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, the fake TI perps copy off the regular perps, but they go harder. They be like, Candy just obsessed. She's greedy and she's just obsessed with money and food. But y'all sitting here counting calories, thinking y'all counting calories. And um, <clears throat> you think you can try to estimate how much money you think I'm spending or how much how much donations you think I got. Y'all are more obsessed with my donations than, and I hardly get any. So y'all obsessed more obsessed with my donations than, than I am. Y'all are more obsessed with my money and food than I am. <clears throat> you know, um. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, you know, for the new people who's watching this, I put the, um, in the description box of almost all my videos, I put, you know, my shorts, my, the links to my eBooks and my blog and short stories and ways y'all can donate and, and payment information or whatever. You know, uh, if you wanted to support my writings or if you just wanted to donate, you know, thank you so much, you know, because um, some they had a couple of new people who, who asked me, you know, how could they help and everything, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I have the fundraiser. And as I said, I still have the fundraiser up. And the online perps, they try to, and the fake TI perps and, and regular perps, they'd be like, Candy doesn't need your assistance. Candy doesn't need your help. She gets over 900 something a month. And yeah, and you probably get 9,900 a month with perping people. You eating good. You sleeping good. You ain't suffering. As I said, no way in hell to somebody, um, it's the seventh of the month and I only got $13, $13 and no transportation and nowhere to go. So, I mean, I got $20 in coins, um, for laundry. 
speaking of laundry, it was not, I mean, I think it was last week. I got some, it was last Tuesday, I think. Let me try to remember the date. Uh, probably was May 31st. My hair was so soft and the little bit of hair that I had, it was so soft and um, luscious or whatever. And then it, the, um, when I was, I had to use the cheap dollar, um, the cheap dollar version of Tide Pods you know, to do laundry. And it seemed like as if they weren't rinsed out, all, like my towels weren't rinsed out all the way. And my hair was so soft. And then I try to dry my hair with the towel. <clears throat> and it seemed like as if it made my hair dull. It ruined my hair. So I'm pretty mad about that. Like my hair won't even... It won't even get shiny or silky or soft no more. You know, I guess unless new growth grows out. But the little bit of hair I have, I accidentally ruined it. I didn't know. You know, I didn't even know that that the um that the stuff wasn't rinsed out all the way. And so um, but. My body feels weak and I'm sleep deprived. So I don't, I mean, I, I feel too, my body feels too weak to, um, my body feels too weak to, um, to, to go and do laundry today. So this morning I woke up, it was before 745. I woke up, it was before 7.45 this morning. So, um, I don't know if, I think I'll just have, try to have sweet grits for breakfast and the last of the watermelon and probably an orange to eat, you know. And then I, I'll have probably some more Ezekiel for like two slices of Ezekiel for a nine bread with a slice of cheese, maybe or a peanut butter sandwich and, um, some more pork chops, you know, leftover pork chops and the turnip greens and turnips, you know, diced turnips and turnip greens. So yesterday, um, uh, like, it's like when I run the water in the kitchen, well, I mean, I, there's no kitchen here, but you know, the, the little kitchenette, I guess you'll call it. Um, when I run the, um, when I run the water, when I run the water, um, it usually be cloudy. And it tastes like, it tastes like, um, like it has like a, I don't know. It tastes like salty, like a salted mildew water. And it will, and it will be cloudy. But yesterday, um, well, it was the first day I noticed that the water running, would, the water would be clear. And doesn't have that nasty, um, that nasty taste. The tap water. So it would taste kind of like baking soda, baking soda or some other kind of salt and be, and it would run cloudy. But, you know, yesterday was the first day I saw the water be, the water tasted and looked clear for the first time. So I don't know if me being targeted, um, me being targeted, if they're messing with my water. I mean, it tasted like the water, it tastes so disgusting, you know, but I would have no choice but to drink it anyway. I don't have money for bottled water. 
but I see people here, a lot of people here, they buy bottled water, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to cry tears of joy when I first noticed that the water was running cl very clear. And it would run clear and also... Um, you know, it tasted clear like not like regular water for once. So I don't know if they're clearing or purifying the water system. You know, humans are freaking corrupt. Like, how the hell do they let bad things happen like that? And they don't even care. And then the first thing when, when people die, the first thing they want to do is act like they're angry at God or blame God. So, um... And they want to act like they're mad at God or blame God. So, um, I saw this TikTok video of this guy, the seven, I think he could have been 17 or 18, this boy. And he was very sad and, you know, was wondering how he was going to, if he was going to get to graduate, you know, from high school because um his dad was his dad went missing inside of a, a building that collapsed i heard about these men who <clears throat> um they went missing and and people couldn't find their bodies inside of a collapsed building and so the boy was you know Wondering if his dad was dead or alive. It was so sad to see. And then you hear, I heard this story on TikTok also about this black female who, um, she beat her daughter to death. And she was, you know, being weird and abusing her ki her kids and stuff. And they said she left a filthy house. <clears throat> and so I heard some other stuff going on too. You know, I don't want to make y'all depressed. So, um. So, yeah, my body feels so weak today. I don't know. I think I might. I don't know if I might have. What I might have with the grits. Well, I can't have honey. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I ever tried honey in my grits before. I used to. I tried to put syrup inside grits before. And, um. I tried to put syrup in grits before. And, um. You don't taste the the sweet at all, and that might be the case with honey. But I try to put honey in farina, and it doesn't really taste sweet, or it doesn't really taste that good. It's like I have to put sugar in the farina, but I gotta put a lot in order to get it to taste sweet. But, um, but I usually use the, um, I usually, I usually use the, um, my ceramic bowl for the grits and stuff. I mean, what, for the microwave and stuff, I got to get another one. So, um, I got to get another ceramic bowl because the other one, it, it broke. So I just have a couple of Tupperware containers. <laughs> um, So I can put honey and oatmeal and, and taste the, a lot of the sweetness 
but not with farina or grits. But that's the fake junk honey from Dollar General. I tested the honey. It cost the $8 for that thing. And it's not real honey. It's not real honey. So, um... So I think I might just... I mean, I went out two days in a row. And I think I might just, um mellow out today and just chill today you know my body feels my joints and everything feel weak from the um sleep deprivation you know so yesterday i didn't feel that hot um when I went out and about, I didn't feel like it was too hot outside. But, you know, I feel like I miss being outside more often. So, um, I pat on the little transportation, I passed by the walking trail. And, um, I passed by the walking trail and, um, I don't, I feel like I don't like it. It looks like it's so narrow. But I never saw anybody walking on it, though. But I said that I wanted to try out. I wanted to take a try to um to try to walk on a walk on a walking trail, you know, just to see what it's like. But I never saw a walking trail. So it's so narrow, you know. <clears throat> So, um, excuse me. So, I'm, it's like my body feels so weak and I'm too tired to work on any writings today. So, um, it's 920 right now. <coughs> You know, um, so I need more sleep. I really do. I brushed my teeth and flossed really good last night. So, um, I think it's, I, I don't know if it's bad, the bad quality water. <clears throat> is making <clears throat> excuse me if the um bad quality water is making um you know the bad quality water is probably making it harder for me to heal but you know my I feel improvement already you know with me having the fruits and vegetables <clears throat> so the fake Darnell Williams perp came to harass me and, you know, he lied and said that I have money stashed underneath my mattress. You don't know what I have. But, you know, y'all y'all, y'all sit there and, you know, believe them. But here, I'm telling the truth about everything I'm going through. And the online perps be like, well, you'd be stupid if you listen to Candy. You, y'all be stupid if you listen to her or... You know, and it's like, I can't believe that internet strangers trying to control the lives of other internet strangers, you know, so, um, it's like, I don't have any money under my mattress, my pillows, um, you know, but this is the same perp that wants to traffic me in a Luciferian cult. And he'd been harassing me for over a year. So, um, so, he tried to talk about me wasting money on 
um, vegetables. You know how like when you have watermelon, <clears throat> if you have watermelon and it's um, sliced up already and then put in a, um, you know, it's sliced up and put in a, um, you know, well, since I have the ref mini refrigerator, you know, I can't fit um, a regular size watermelon up in there. So I had to buy the slices. So um, just like I, in a mini refrigerator, I can't put a whole gallon of milk up in there. So I would have to, <clears throat> it would cost more money to buy two half gallons. Of milk because I cannot fit a whole gallon of milk up in there. So, um, and that was the yellow watermelon I got, and I and I haven't had it in years. I just wanted to try it, you know. So the perp, the fake perp, Darnell Williams was harassing me, and then trying to talk about that. Oh, you can stretch that one hundred fifty dollars for the whole month and stuff. You dumb because. Um, back in 2007 or 2008, I would have been able to, but now with the inflation and everything, no, you, you can't really, um, you know, you can't really, you can't really, um, you know, y'all, uh, y'all really think that I can stretch $150 for a month on food? But they have people who say that. Oh, this is a family. If they do a grocery haul for a family of four, and it, and I mean a family of three, I meant to say. If you do a grocery haul, you know, for a family of three, and say you spent over four hundred dollars, and people are shocked. I'm like, well, because of the inflation <coughs> and everything. So. As I said, they call me greedy if I eat junk food or, or call me a greedy pig and harass me or whatever. But then if I eat healthy, there come the more harassment. Oh, you're wasting money. Or you spending above your means or you're wasting money or you want to live in luxury or um, candy wants to um, candy wants status. Candy wants to live the high life. No, y'all get to live the high life. Y'all get to have status. Y'all get to, I mean, so, um, so if I buy a bag of heirloom, or if I buy a bag of heirloom oranges or organic lemons, narcissistic abusers want to narcissistically lecture me saying, you're wasting your money on that. But then I get called fat and greedy if I eat at McDonald's or Dairy Queen or something. But I mean, I've noticed and quickly noticed an improvement. You know, today and yesterday, I well, yesterday I did have some pain, but this morning I don't recall waking up with pain in my side. So, um, you know, when I reintroduced, you know, fruits and vegetables into my um you know, into my, into my diet. So, um, yeah, they had the yellow flesh pineapple. I mean, I'm sorry, yellow flesh watermelon. And, um, you know, it's just them trying to control you and trying to shame you and make you feel bad. And if he would have left the comments up there, the, you know, the perps would have all defended and agreed with him and gave him thumbs up. But, all the filthy stuff he says, though, you, you know, and then that's the same, the fake Darnell. His name is not really Darnell Williams, but he's a white guy trying to pretend to pose as a black person. So, um, you know, as I said, me adding fruits and vegetables, <clears throat> it made a nice bit of a difference for you know, I don't recall, as I said, I was able to get up easily this morning, get up out of bed easily like normal and get up and, you know, go to the bathroom. So it's like, 
if you have a reprobate mind and you're working for Satan, you don't have the authority or the right to judge nobody.